we can stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the eBay warehouse. Today, this is my project. This is my brother's couch uh, that's been chilling here since he moved. Um, I helped him. I helped him move out. He dumped his couch here in what used to be my paintball room. Um, now I'm converting it to eBay storage. That's the only shelf I have over there. And if you guys remember, uh, I purchased these as well. I need to get these up. I'm running out of room in there. Running out of room quick. I'm starting to find more inventory. Yard sales are already popping back up. So here's what we got going on. I'm taking that couch. I'm moving it over here in this spot right here that I have cleared out. In that spot, there used to be a whole bunch of tin cans. Not tin, aluminum. This is all aluminum cans packed into dog food bags. Uh, my grandmother passed away last year and these bags were just like all over the place in her garage and in the, uh, there was like an outdoor shed too. She had just been collecting aluminum cans for years and uh, everybody was like, well, what are we gonna do with these? And I was like, well, I got a truck, I guess so I'll just, you know, haul them over to my garage and store them there and eventually I'll get them to the recycling center. And that's been a while, but now I'm finally getting away to it, or around to it. Look what I just saw. You guys remember this? Any of my OG streamers? Look at this. I used to write the names of all my subs on here. Look at all those names. That's crazy. Anyways, um... Yeah, so all this is aluminum. I just called the Recycle Center. I don't know if I'm gonna get these in today. I might, just depends on how things go. But the price that they're offering right now is 30 cents a pound. Uh, so I have no idea what would be here. Um, I'm guessing that's not, I mean, it, it, there's no way that's even 100 pounds. I, I Maybe 50 pounds, we'll see. I think I have one bag of aluminum that I've been saving inside. I can go grab that and throw it in here, but I'd be shocked if we got 15 bucks out of this. <laughs> so I don't know if saving aluminum is really worth it, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, I just had to get all that moved. Yeah, I have a shopping cart. One time I was in town and there's just a shopping cart on the side of the road and I was like, Pfft. I mean, yeah, why not, you know? Uh, so anyways, I've got that and uh, I've got that cleaned out and now I'm gonna get this couch over there. And once I get that couch over there, I'm gonna get a couple more things out of here. I'm gonna get these three shelves built and that's gonna give me a lot more space to put product. And that's what's on the agenda for today. Ha ha! Couch. No there, no more. Couch over there! That echo was weird. So, I got the couch moved. Uh, luckily, it's a pretty light couch. I was able to move it on my own. Now, I got it shot backed up a little bit. I mean, we're in a garage, you know, like, it's not gonna be night and nice and tidy and clean out here, and I'm okay with that, but got it cleaned up a little bit, and uh, now I think I've actually got a, a curtain I can get over that window. I'm gonna do that. I just don't like having it to where people can see in here and see that there might be lots of goodies that they want to, you know, break in, and, you know, I just don't want to mess with that. So, um, I'm gonna see if I can get, uh, the curtain up there and then I'm gonna get these three shelves built and set up in here I'm gonna find a place for all these fold-out chairs a lot of those are mine and a lot of those are just ones that I've inherited from having paintball um, paintball out on my on my 40 acres that we we built the uh, the course out there and then also tailgating at Chiefs games a lot of times I just end up coming home with people's fold-out chairs so got to find a place for these fold-out chairs and stuff like that and uh, then I'm gonna get these built. I had an idea in here. I think my idea was to bring two down the middle here. And then, what was my, maybe I can fit all three down the middle here. I don't know. Um, and then eventually, I've done, I've done actually a really good job. I think I showed you guys early on how many paintball guns I had in here. These are the only ones left. These two and those two and then I've got all these CO2 tanks over here that I need to get sold and some miscellaneous stuff. And uh, then, you know, then I have all this shelf space on the walls too, which will be nice. Over here, I've already got a little bit of merchandise set up. Anybody need any hair dye? I've got a lot of hair dye. This <laughs> did pretty random, I know. Um, but yeah, so that's going on. And then I forgot to mention, one of the reasons I'm also tidying up out here is 
Uh, I got to get this area a little bit cleaned up and get stuff kind of organized and pull stuff to the front. I got a bunch of totes over on the other side of the garage, but I'm having a yard sale this Saturday. Figured it was a good time to get rid of a lot of the clutter that I have laying around the house. We've been just kind of throwing stuff in. Um, we've been throwing stuff in totes that we don't need. Like, okay, you know, here we go, yard sale stuff. And uh, so I'm going to get all that stuff together and try to get my yard sale done before yard sale season actually starts so that way I don't have to miss yard sales trying to do my own. But it'll be a good chance to get, a, get in a little bit of cash for the season. And uh, yeah, so with the, you know, with the aluminum cans and the yard sale, if I can make like 500 bucks, I figure that's 500 bucks that I can spend at yard sales this season. And you guys know that I can turn $500 cash into a whole lot more money on eBay. So anyways, I'm gonna get these shelves put together and uh, then I'll see what's going on from there. So I found, um, I found the, what is this called? The curtain, I found the curtain, but I have no curtain rod. So one has been ordered on the Amazons and uh, now we must wait. Once we get that, I will get that installed and that will be nice. I'm actually going to, I'm about to go get the ladder, replace those two lights, uh, especially once I get up that curtain, it's gonna be really dark over there if I'm trying to pull orders or whatever off the shelves. But speaking of shelves, oh, how satisfying. Maybe that's not satisfying to you guys, but to me, that's satisfying. Look at all that inventory space. I am much excited. I ended up filling my clothing rack way quicker than I expected to. I've got some more containers down here for hats because I sell so many hats, it's insane. I've still got a little bit of room uh, for some packaged shirts and stuff like that. So I think actually my clothing inventory space is gonna be fine for now. Um, so I won't have to steal one of these for more clothing. And then like I said, once I get some of the more of the paintball stuff out of here, I'll be able to open up these uh, wall shelves for additional storage. Uh, I wanna highly recommend these shelves to you guys if you are looking for something in your garage or maybe you're looking for ebay inventory space just like i am as you can see i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and i've even got some on the other side of my garage that i use for personal storage with totes and stuff like that these things are like fifty dollars a piece though so you know the 11 that i have yeah i've got a lot of money into just these shelves but they are rated for up to 200 pounds, which is pretty decent. Cause you see these plastic things and you're like, oh man, these things, you know, I hear a lot of people say, you know, don't buy shelving unless you buy like the aluminum ones or whatever the metal ones are, stuff like that. Um, but these are rated up to 200 pounds and there's not much that I'd be able to throw at it to exceed that weight capacity. I'm pretty happy with that. That's actually 200 pounds per shelf. So there's no way, like there, there's nothing that I'm, you know, I'm not storing cinder blocks on this thing, so I'll be good. Um, but they go together easy enough and uh, they're really wide and there's five tall. I, I think for the money, honestly, they're pretty good and you can wait until they go on sale at Lowe's or whatever. And uh, I think I got like 10 bucks off each one of these last time I bought them. I got them for like 45 each or something like that where they're normally 55. But anyways, yeah, that's it guys. So we've got the room now um, upgraded, opened up all the shelves put together. And uh, I actually had to take my hoodie off today. It's actually been in the 60s the last few days here in Missouri and I'm really happy with that. But anyways, these are the shelves, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I think I could even maybe, I don't know, what do you guys, I could maybe put like another one, like at a T at the end there or like put one, I don't know. So if I did a little bit of uh, maneuvering, I might even be able to fit one more shelf in here somewhere, somehow some way somehow, but um, I think for now I'm gonna be okay. So I'm excited, I've got the expansion done now and uh, my sales are a little bit low today. I've only sold like two things, so I think I'm actually gonna try to get a few more listings done here before the end of the day and uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Somebody buy my chili pepper cookie jars. Look how cool those are. Good, uh, two, what's today, Tuesday? Good Tuesday morning? Today's two, no, Wednesday? I think today's Wednesday. Good Wednesday morning. Uh, these are the orders that I'm pulling for the day. We got some CDs, we got a, a, a component cable for the Wii. That was like six bucks free ship, nothing to be excited about. Uh, this was actually my girlfriend's DSi XL uh, and a charger 
This was a pretty good buy. Uh, this was something that my girlfriend found on Facebook. Well, I, I showed you guys this. We got this for uh, 110 um, and it came with three Pokemon games. The three Pokemon games sold within the first like nine hours of posting them and this is sold. So within like three days we've sold everything and I think... Uh, Oh, this sold, I, I listed this as a, at a premium because there was none others available and it had the case to match the DS. Um, so I sold this for $225, uh, which was a really good sale, obviously. And then I think I got, um, yeah, I got 50, just over $50 out of the three Pokemon games. So $275 in sales from a $110 purchase. <laughs> oh, man. Uh you know, minus fees and everything like that, I probably still um, pocketed like $150. So pretty good, especially when you get rid of it in like three days and it was only four listings, I think. So um, very happy with that. Uh, Sims 3 on DS, a little Apple wall plug. Um, and this I'm pretty proud of. This, if you guys watched the Harley Davidson gear video, uh, you know that I got, I got all this stuff for free. I got $180 worth of Harley Davidson gear for $5 because I had in-store credit. Uh, go watch that video if you want to know more about that. So technically all this stuff was free or you could say, like I said, I got a, I got five, I got, I spent $5 for $180 worth of gear, but this, as you could see, was normally 25 bucks, uh, but it was on the clearance rack for $12 and it actually I don't know if it was just how they do their clearance all the time or if it was a special part of that day because they were having a blood drive and doing a, a bunch of crazy sales and stuff like that. But um, they uh, they had their clearance stuff where buy one, get one half off, and they had two of these. So I bought that one and this one right here, both uh, for what would that have been? That would have been 18 bucks. So I got those for $9 a piece. Sorry, I just realized the camera wasn't focused. There it is. Uh, so I got those for $9 a piece, and technically I didn't even pay for them, but what I'm getting at is if you guys have a Harley, if you guys are flipping and you have a Harley Davidson dealer, you need to go check their clearance rack because I sold this bad boy for $39.99, $40. And even if I actually would have paid for it, it would have only been 12, you know, at regular price on the clearance rack. So. Go check the clearance rack at your Harley Davidson dealer because that's just, it just blows my mind that that, that I got $40 out of that. Like that's insane. So, uh, you know, I had $180 worth of credit or $175 worth of credit and um, I'm probably going to sell the stuff. I mean, because this retail would have been 25. I sold it for 40 and I only paid nine. I mean, it's just crazy. The numbers are insane. So uh, go, if you guys are flipping, uh, go check that stuff out. So anyways, um, as you guys know, on the other side of that door, we got the new storage room all set and ready to go. I've already started the process of, I'm gonna pull like that tackle box over there and well, I'll just show you. Basically, what I'm gonna start doing is over here, uh, I'm, gonna li I'm gonna put all my bigs. Um, so I got the fan, I got like an open sign back there that's huge. Uh, I don't even remember what's in this box. It just, just, you know, toolboxes, stuff like that, that little TV, uh, just big stuff. I'm going to fill this whole rack here with big stuff uh, that I already have over here. So you can see there's like a giant vintage projector down there and that toolbox and some stuff that it's going to clear up a lot of space on here. And what I'm going to try to do, since like the computer's here and I print my labels here, obviously this is like the ship station, I'm going to try to keep... You know, uh, like video games is a really good spot for video games. So I'm going to try to get all my video games um, and DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff over here. The stuff that sells fairly quickly and regularly. Uh, I'm going to try to have right here up front. Uh, that printer ink, that stuff's been listed for so long. I just need to run a, a, a big sale on it. Um, but I'll probably get that over there. Basically, I'm moving the big slash slow moving items from in here to the other room. Um, where they're further away. And then I'm gonna have my fast moving items in here. I moved some glassware too. So I like the idea of these sturdy wood um, shelves. You, you know, you got the brackets into studs and everything. These are very sturdy. <clears throat> uh, so I like the idea of like having my glassware in here on these. And uh, so I'm probably gonna be rearranging that kind of stuff. Basically, 
I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time rearranging today. Uh, problem is I've still got that huge camera lot and some other, like we, I've been finding a decent amount of stuff lately. So I've got a, quite a bit of inventory that needs to get listed right now. But, um, you know, I, I think it's important to the business to get stuff rearranged and, and have my fast moving stuff here and get some of the bigger stuff that's moving slower into the other room. So that's what I'm gonna prioritize today. And then the yard sale coming up um, this Saturday, I've got to go take the, I gotta take the aluminum in today, which I called yesterday and found out I'm gonna get 30 cents a pound on that. So I'm expecting like 15, $20 off the entire bed of my truck being full. Uh, which, you know, is better than nothing, but while I'm in town, I'm also going to be stopping at probably Lowe's and getting some signage, garage sale signs, uh, some price tags, stuff like that, to get ready for the madness that will ensue on Saturday. So, that's what's going on here. On my Wednesday morning, I pop two Alpha Brain, see if I can stay focused today and get a bunch of stuff done. All right, guys, so to close out this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my goals for 2020. I touched on this, I think, on one of the first videos of 2020, uh, on one of the what sold on eBay last week videos. Uh, I talked about how much I did in 2019 and what I wanted to do for 2020. And I think I set my goal to like $35,000 or $40,000 in sales. I've raised my goal. My goal for 2020 is on this little post-it note here to remind me that I want to do $50,000 in sales for 2020. I've invested too much time and energy and even money in, uh, into this little venture for me to not set my sights um, a little bit higher, I think. So I think I could do $50,000 in sales. Um, and I figured it out to where I need to average about $4,200 a month or $140 in sales a day to hit that goal. Now obviously $50,000 in sales doesn't mean I get to put $50,000 in the bank. Um, you know, that's before your shipping costs, that's before how much it costs you to purchase that much inventory and you know, all your shipping supplies and stuff like that. But $50,000 in sales is where I wanna be for 2020. And then 2021, you know, we'll go from there. Um, and I think I can, I really do, think I can do that. I, I'm going to hit this hard. I'm going to hit it really hard. Um, I'm having fun doing it. I love it. I, I was able to have fun and love doing it through the winter season, which is almost unbearable at times because you're not able to go out and source good stuff. Um, or at least at the rate that you will during the spring and summer, obviously, because yard sales aren't, aren't available. Um, and I think, you know, that that's a good sign for me that I was able to stay sane through those months and keep things going and have good months of sales. You know, the fact that I was able to do as well in January and February as I did it is really promising to me. Uh, you know, I, I had my best sales month so far in February and I expected January and February to be terrible. I beat my December sales in February, which is crazy. Uh, now, albeit that that has a lot to do with I kind of just went through my house and sold a lot of my personal stuff that I didn't need anymore, and some of that was some high value things, and that helped out a lot. But still, um, you know, I think I think I'm going to be able to hit my goal. So, anyways, real quick, uh, now to hit fifty thousand dollars in sales, I have to have fifty thousand dollars worth of product. And right now, currently, as you can see there, I have seven hundred and fifty one listings live. Uh, valued at $20,579.56. So I have $20,000 worth of inventory listed now. So, uh, you know, that camera lot that you guys saw and the stuff that I bought from the Salvation Army and, and all that, you know, I've still got some stuff over there on the pool table, as you can see. Um, you know, there's some money there to be listed. There's the rest of the camera stuff. There's some camera stuff over there. There's some camera stuff over here and just random stuff here and there that still needs to be listed. So I would say there's at least a few, uh, there's probably a couple few thousand dollars worth of stuff already in here that I just haven't listed yet. Um, so, you know, obviously I need to get that stuff going. And then that's, you know, so basically I have to find $30,000 worth of inventory in 2020 and list it and sell it. So that's, that's a big, that's a big goal. You know, that's, 
that's saying a lot. Now, sometimes I can go out in a weekend and spend only $100 at a yard sale, or at yard sales, and find $1,000, $2,000 worth of inventory. You know, I've done it before, and it'll happen again. You know, two, $3,000 in a weekend, finding that much inventory does happen. Um, but then there's also weekends where you go out and find $500 worth of stuff or $1,000 worth of stuff and your finds aren't as good or it might be stuff that has to sit longer. So $50,000 is definitely a stretch goal, but it's a goal that I am comfortable with and I really want to push toward. Like I said, $4,200 a month, $140 a day. I have $20,000 in inventory currently listed and so far for 2020, I am at $8,000. $590.05. So, currently, uh, I'm, I'm hitting my goal. You know, that, that is averaging $4,200 a month in sales as of right now. So if I can keep this up, and again, I, I wanna think that, you know, just about right now, people are gonna start getting their tax returns and stuff. So I've been anticipating that to be a little bit of a, a sales spike anyways. But I think the fact that I'm already hitting my average and hopefully I'm not, you know, overthinking this or giving myself false hope. But I think the fact that I I'm able to hit my average in January and February is a really, really good sign. Because um, all signs point to the fact that I should be able to be doing even better than that once I start bringing in high volumes of inventory and high volumes of potentially higher value inventory. I'm going to start going... And you know, every weekend I'm gonna be sourcing, I'm gonna be coming back with some really good finds. Maybe not every, you see the birdie? Later birdie. <laughs> um, maybe not, you know, maybe I won't be finding really good stuff every weekend, but I will have those really good finds. Like, you know, there was a couple times last year where I found like cosmetics and I paid $30 and I came home and I sold all the cosmetics within a week and you know, profited like $600. And you know, so that stuff is gonna really fuel the fire and uh, yeah, anyways, I'm really excited for 2020. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. There's gonna be even more, obviously. Uh, you guys are gonna be seeing the yard sale sourcing. I'm gonna have the spy cam glasses out again recording. Um, I've also talked to my girlfriend. We've been talking about it and she's down to just carry this camera around and kind of try to film from a third, per you know, a third perspective, third person point of view. What am I trying to say? Third person, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of film me like a, I'm a star of my own show, I guess, kind of thing. I don't know. We're new to this stuff, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to keep doing these these garage vlogs, these warehouse vlogs, you know, the, the weekly what's sold videos, and, uh, and then start the yard sale sourcing content too. And, you know, the ad revenue that I get on these videos helps me have money to source and you know, it's just, it's all, it's go, it's all going really well. I, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. I'm excited for 2020 um, and uh, I hope you guys are as well. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.